Sir. Alright, so here we go. Char the versus Scizor. Remember U turn. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so going to this match here. So we kind of pulling out the Rotom. It's an interesting choice. Oh, I think Rotom actually gets proc by Hover Stance. Technically, so maybe he had something. Um, so, Fumich is keeping his distance. Always been known as a more patient player. Doesn't really do rush down that much, so. That's kind of translating into a silver as well. Oh, not able to get away enough from that counter attack. And the two attack they're snagging it. So much damage out from Charizard right now. So, Kano, really a nice, nice attack here. Ooh, Frogner is not big enough. Alright, so Boone's gonna have to be a little bit careful. Ooh, combo with the Rotom, alright. Oh, this could be it right there. Oh, not enough. Boone's on his last leg, though. Oh, and the counter frames from uh, Sword Stance is not long enough. Um, I like the idea, though, but um, it's a very, very last hitbox, so hard to counter through with that. Alrighty, so. Ooh, okay, so that kind of did connect. Alright, so Pumu doing nice um, work with that counter attack using it as more space and cool. That's something interesting about um, Scizor's counter attack is that it's just. It's, uh, it has so much more utility than a usual counter, just because it's huge range and uh, combo building. Oh, goes for the. commits to the 6 axe and actually worked out. Pumu just having a hard time getting his combo started. He just. Um, Having a hard time dealing with the Sword Dance. Ooh, there's the U-turn right there. Some nice damage coming out. Because Sword Dance. Oh, uh, here comes Bursa from Fumu. This could be a big swing. No, it's already in the advantage. Ooh, Frog, you're actually being out flared with it. Uh, okay. Right. Here comes the Bursa from Fumu. And... So if we just look, getting these few hits here and there, I really wanted to get up close to a rage boost to Charizard, because that can take out 283 damage real quick. Ooh, that is punishable, and oh, does not go for size and toxic, goes for flamethrower. And the cannon there is snagging that right there. So if we get getting the second round, going to round three. First from Pocano. And CTC grab. That's a really slow one, but hey, if it works out, it's scary. Off uh, of trying to U-turn that, I can respect that. Oh, the knock is sizing down, so it's not fall for that. Nice Pocano. They're not Rotom, just trying to bait out something. Here comes the burst. Ah, uh, it also voice, so now he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. He can be play a little bit more freely. Ooh, here comes a combo. Ooh, it does not quite fall up in time. Ooh, a nice player, but like some kind of in the sweet back. But now Fumi's gonna go into his burst and see if he can swing things around. Ah, no combo sorry right there. Um, think about like uh, playing new characters that um sometimes you just have a hard time converting things into full combos. Ooh, so here comes a nice, nice burst here. He's gotta do a lot of damage, probably kind of around 140 or so. Let's see. 121, okay. So now, um, Kano does have a little bit of work to do here, but being a power character, Charizard can take care of 264 HP real nicely. Oh, but okay, so the recoil along with the counter attack right there, do just enough damage to um, snag the victory. So going into this next round here, I don't think it's gonna be a support change. Is that, um, I mentioned why um, what's up with the Rotom there? I'm thinking it might be an XL pick instead of going for Togekiss, but maybe there's some Rotom stuff in there. I know um, character who can use a lot of his dashes, like uh, Scizor. I'm not really worried too much about Rotom because it doesn't the speed debuff doesn't really affect like dashing so much. Oh, nice! Using the hover sense to go through the projectile. So, 
Again, Boom is just really doing a nice um, patient playstyle. It's something he's really used to with both his Decidueye and his Blade Skin. So it's definitely nothing foreign to him. He's really uh, making good use of his counterattack for his spacing as well. Now Pakana going in for some damage. And there we go, lack of hit stun on the aerial lace. Someone else gets to feel my pain. Oh, and the grab not happening right there. So, Fumu gains some momentum back here. Man, that uh, JX and Charlie are just so, so safe. Like, that's just a little lag at the end of it. Alright, so I believe um, every. I think uh, just 6x, no follow up, is still minus 13. 15 or something like that, so it's still punchable by grab, so. Okay, so now, Fumu does have a nice lead, but of course, power characters, you can't, you aren't done with them until you're done, because Rage really, really helps the damage. Oh, Safety Frog, helping out Fumu right there, a whole lot, and that's it right there, actually, that grab's gonna be it! Boom, just like that. That grab is the tied for the most powerful in the game, I won't say it's just as powerful as uh, Machamp's. And uh, Mega Carrios. Ooh. Ah, not quite able to combo it. That would have been interesting. See what you could do with it. Ooh. Okay, I thought say that. Um, Metal Claw does count as airborne. I was wondering if Fortown was going to activate in time. Alright, so. Boom just playing it very patient. Not even going anything, even though he has the burst. And combos. Oh, not quite into it, but I like the idea, though. I respect it. So now, Pekano with the ever-so-threatening burst attack here. Oh, able to counter through it. I was a little bit worried that Fumu's going to get quick um, seismic dust there. And there we go. That's going to be a whole lot of damage right there. There's the burst. Always got to be fearful of it. Because you're, I can guarantee you're pretty much almost always in range of it. Alright, so, ooh, counter able to snag a few hits there. Not quite full damage, I think. So, nice spacing by Fumi. He's doing a lot, really good work with his uh, dashing. Alright, Rotom not gonna be able to save him from that 2x. Uh, oh, here we go. Some nice damage out there. And uh, with the. Uh, 2x right there for some nice just solid damage. Oh, nice counter right there. Oh, not quite enough uh, to take Kano out, but there we go. That side Y. Little snag out right there. We're going back to round three here. Both characters getting near their burst. Okay. Alright, Mega Scissors are coming out to play now. Let's see, Pekana does have his burst though. Ready to go. Oh, not able to combo off of it though. Of course, that could have led to a whole lot of damage. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Nice, okay, so, give me some nice, nice solid damage coming on the field here. Probably take Pekana to about 340, my guess. Yeah, 349, nice. Alright, so Toga's coming out to play now. He's done with the Rotom. I think Rotom's just for fun, but now it's for realsies. Okay, so getting on the Sword's hands, of course. Now going in, but not quite able to do much. Okay, so this. God, the really just not in a good situation right now. Ooh, okay, the. <laughs> the 6xx there. I'm snag him out of the air, actually. Fumi's just looking for one more hit, and the grab's gonna seal the deal right there. Fumi's gonna take it 2-0 over Pekano. 